Today we're going to do cinnamon raisin bread and cinnamon bread. The reason I'm going to divide it is because some people don't like raisins, so you'll see how to put the raisins in and how to have a loaf without raisins. We're going to start with our dry ingredients, three and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of brown sugar. So a little packed in there, brown sugar. We're gonna mix those together. We're going to activate our yeast. This is a cup and a half of lukewarm milk. And it has a teaspoon of sugar in there. This is two and one fourth teaspoons of yeast. And we're gonna to add to our milk and just kind of brush it around in there, stir it up a little so it can start to get activated. Our yeast is going to activate for about five or ten minutes. In the meantime, we'll get our second bowl, which is going to be six tablespoons of butter and one egg. You just kind of break your egg up and beat it up a little bit, mix it together. And as our yeast is activated, it's nice and foamy on the top. We're going to mix that right in with our other liquids. Kind of stir it around a little bit. And then we're going to start mixing our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. We'll put part of it. We'll start stirring that. Get this all together. It's going to be wet and sticky, but we will be pouring that out onto our counters to start kneading. We just want to mix all that flour in there. And you're going to have about another half a cup of flour for your kneading. Normally, if you were just making it raisin and cinnamon, you can add your raisins in here. But because I'm going to divide it, and pour all of that right out. I'm going to sprinkle some of this across the top. So we're going to start kneading. Okay, so we're going to continue to knead get our dough nice and smooth. Now what I would do here, because like I said, I'm making two different ones. If you want to, you can start working some of your raisins into this side. Okay, so we're going to knead this and just until it's a smooth ball. And I want to get my other side kneaded. Just roll in, pinch in, and push. Okay, so now we're going to put them in our oil pans so they can sit for about an hour and start to rise. Okay, I put each one in a lightly oiled bowl in a warm place in my kitchen and I just covered them up with a little parchment paper and they're going to sit for an hour and then we're gonna come back and check them. Okay, we're back. You can see our dough is more than doubled in size. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to put a little spray oil in my pan that I'm going to put it in. 
Then I'm gonna start with one. We're gonna start with the raisin one. A little flour on our table. Pour it out. We're just gonna knead it back down. And this one has the raisins in it. Okay, first for our cinnamon filling, we'll have two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna mix all that. Put it aside. I'm gonna take our dough. I'm just gonna roll it out a little. You know, put some flour on my rolling pin. So it doesn't stick. A little flour over the dough. Just gonna roll it out. If it's not enough raisins for you, you can always ask, add more when you put the raisins in. Okay, we roll it out like that. We're gonna just smear a little bit of the cinnamon over it. We don't want it to go over the dough, just down in the center of the dough. Not off the edges. And then we're gonna tightly roll our bread up. Tuck the ends under. Make sure the edges tuck the ends under. And this is our second loaf of bread and this is the one that's just the cinnamon. Make sure you just, we dumped it out. We wanna Give it a little bit of a knead, beating it back down. And then we're going to start rolling it out. Want it more long than wide. And then we're going to take our cinnamon, sugar, and butter mixture and spread that all across the dough. You don't want it too thick. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the end. And we're gonna start rolling our dough up. Make it a pretty tight roll, not too tight, but you know, it's not just layering, it's just like rolling. And when you get to the very end, you're tucking that bottom in, you're tucking those edges under. You're going to lift it and you're going to lay it right in your baking pan. So now we're just going to sit them back in our warm spot and let them rise for about a half hour, 30, 35 minutes before we place them in the oven. I just want to cover them back up. 35 minutes later and we have both our loaves double in size. Now I'm going to take a little egg and water egg wash just kind of brush it over the top when you have your second um, rising you should preheat your oven at 375 nice glossy egg wash and now this is going to go in the oven okay, now my preheated oven 375 I'm gonna put both my loaves in there side by side. And they're going to be baking for approximately 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. It's time, 40 minutes is up. And ooh. This is definitely hot, 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 but it can come out. I'm going to turn it out. Okay. So here we are. That's my cinnamon raisin bread. And here's my cinnamon bread.
Bon appétit!